So welcome to Slow Flow Vinyasa. This class will include some breath work and we'll do a series of flowing postures. And then we'll close with a relaxation pose and I'll offer a meditation during that time as well. So, and Betty, I'll be your teacher. I think you already know all of those things, but it's good to have that reminder and introduction. So that being done, I think we're ready to move and breathe. So I'll invite you to come to your mat in a child's pose to begin our practice today. Right. So there in that child's pose. invitation to stretch the arms long in front of you or perhaps letting the arms drape down by the sides knees can come together or wide apart that's up to you if child's pose isn't accessible or comfortable today feel free to find any other restful posture lying on your side tall seats Perhaps allowing the gaze to soften. Maybe even the eyes gently blink close. As we draw some awareness internally to the body and the breath. Drawing in a little deeper and longer inhale And a little longer exhale. A few more breaths, elongating the inhale and exhale. Settling in to your practice. Allowing this to be a transition into kind, attentive awareness. Noticing what's here in the mind, in the body. Allowing the breath to guide you back into the sensations of the body, the activity of the mind. Perhaps two more breaths here. Next inhale breath. We'll shift the weight forward into tabletop hands and knees, stacking knees under hips, hands under shoulders, fanning fingers wide. Exhale, breath, round cat stretch. Inhale, breath, cow pose, head and tail lift skyward, shoulders draw away from the earth. And exhale, back to child's pose. Flowing again, inhale forward, tabletop hands and knees. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose, long spine. Exhale, sinking back to your child's pose. Few more that way. Inhale, tabletop, firming into the L's of the hands. Exhale, round cat stretch, puffing up the upper back. Inhale, cow pose, long spine, shoulders from ears. Exhale, sinking hips to heels, child's pose. One more round this way. Inhale, forward, tabletop. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. 
exhale, this time tucking the toes, walking the hands forward and a push to downward facing dog. Could be a tabletop or a child's pose here, lots of options. Here in your first down dog, pedal your right heel closer to the earth and then allow the left heel to pedal closer to the earth. And alternating sides, just pedaling through the heels as you fan the fingers and toes wide. Soften the knees, so a little bend in the knee joint here, even as you press heel toward earth. When you've equaled out both sides, invitation to drop both heels equally toward the earth. One inhale and exhale breath. Then walking hands to feet. To stand at the back edge of your space or the back edge of your mat in a forward fold. Knees bent, head heavy. And a slow roll up, maybe even walking hands up the legs for some support. Roll the shoulders here, give the legs a little wobble. Pause for a breath, inhale here. Exhale, breath. Feet a comfortable distance apart. And when we're ready, it's an inhale breath and we stretch the hands wide and high overhead. Exhale breath to your forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you like. Hands can support on the tops of the legs, the shins or the earth, head sinking earthward. Care pose is next, bending the knees deeply. We're sitting back into our imaginary chair, hands supporting on thighs, hearts overhead. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale, sink and feel a lift through the abdomen, supporting through the core. Inhale. Exhale, sink the hips back and down. Notice the thigh bones staying parallel, toes visible over knees. Inhale breath. Exhale, bow forward, fold. Bend in the knees as much as you like here. It's a halfway lift. Find your long tabletop spine here. Knees as bent as much as you like. Hands supporting on earth, shins, tops of thighs. A few cat cow spine here. So find some support through the upper body. Inhale, breath. Exhale, round cat stretch spine. Inhale, cow pose spine. Exhale, round cat stretch spine. Inhale, cow pose spine. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, extend cow pose. One more this way. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. And soften to forward fold. Bend the knees, slow roll up to standing. The shoulder. Wobble the knees. We flow again. Inhale, hands wide and high. Maybe a peek up to the hands. Exhale, your forward fold. Here pose is next. Inhale, sit back to your chair. Pause here. We're adding on. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, opening the hands to the right in a T shape. So the lower body stays in chair, upper body twists to the right. Inhale, hand center, skyward. Exhale, twist to the left. Lower body keeps the chair, upper body twists left. Inhale, center. Exhale, your forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, cat pose spine. Inhale, cow pose spine. Exhale, forward fold, release. Slow roll up to standing. An inhale and an exhale here. We flow again. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Maybe a press of the hips forward as the gaze lifts. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Inhale to your chair. Exhale, open to your twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist back and side. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Your halfway lift. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, cat spine. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, forward fold. Rolling up 
on your inhale and exhale. One more round this way. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Inhale, your chair. Exhale, twist straight. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, long spine. Exhale, cat spine, rounding. Inhale, cow pose, extending through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. And a slow roll up this time. Slow, slow, slow. Roll the shoulders, wobble the legs. Pause for a moment here in your tall mountain pose. Checking in with the breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Perhaps finding a sense of elongation. A little longer inhale. A little longer exhale. Crown stretching skyward. Shoulders softening from ears. A little bend in the knees. Feet rooting to earth. Inhale, breath. We'll stretch the hands wide and high overhead. Exhale, your forward fold. Pause here, a new sequence. We're bending the knees into a spot. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Gently, easily, carefully walk down to the knees. Ground the knees down. We're coming up to standing on the knees. Tops of the feet can ground down. And inhale, the hands stretch overhead. Mountain pose, standing on the knees. Exhale, moving into that child's pose. We've been here, inhale forward, tabletop. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale is a push to your downward facing dog. Big push. One or two breaths here in down dog, tabletop, or child's pose. Then walking hands to feet. So we land on the back of our space or back of the mat. Slow roll up and inhale and an exhale. We flow again. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees to a deep spot. Exhale, walking down, grounding the knees. Inhale, breath. Hands earth to sky, standing on the knees. Exhale, surrender to child's pose, folding forward. Inhale, tabletop, hands and knees. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog, big push. One or two breaths here. And walking hands to feet. An inhale and an exhale brings you to standing. One more round that way. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees to a squat. Exhale, ground the knees down. Inhale, breath, standing on the knees, hands earth to sky. Exhale, fold to your child's pose. Inhale, forward tabletop. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. 
Exhale, down dog, and we pause here in downward facing dog, child's pose, or another resting posture for one or two breaths here. Invitation to ground the knees before we step forward. When you're ready, we're going to step the right foot forward between the hands. So you might even heel toe that right foot around. Ground the back foot down, setting up for warrior two. When milling the arms up, pause here and set up for a moment. Front knee over front ankle and warrior two. Back foot parallel with the back edge of your space. We're even angled in slightly. Arms stretching long, shoulders stacked on hips front knee aligned over front ankle, a sense of the back of the knee yearning into the back space here. Gaze over your front middle finger, pause here for a breath or two, inhale, exhale. Lengthening front leg for just a moment. Front hand stretches skyward. Back hand stretches down toward the floor behind you, bending the elbows into cow face pose arms. So the fingers might touch there behind you and bind, but they might not today. I'm just going to turn around so you can get a visual of what my hands are doing here. If they don't touch, that's a okay. Don't force it. And then we're windmilling the arms back open, warrior two arms. Sinking into that front knee. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale breath. Inhale, we stretch the hands towards the sky and earth. Exhale, the elbows bend. Inhale, press the elbows open toward the space behind you. Exhale, soften and unwind, warrior two. Inhale, hands stretch. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, we open elbows toward the back space. Exhale, soften and unwind. Maybe one more that way. Inhale, the hands stretch. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, press elbows open wide. Exhale, soften, unwind. And lengthen the front leg. We're tipping in triangle pose. Here in triangle, top hand stretching skyward. We're taking an inhale breath, exhale breath. And letting the hand stretch down towards the earth. Inhale, the hand stretches forward and back up to the scalp. Exhale, reach behind us and then down toward the earth again. Inhale forward and up. Exhale, back and down. One more round here. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. One more round. We're pausing, hand stretching skyward. Option to bend the elbow, reach the hand toward the low back, and maybe even sneak the fingers around to the front of the thigh. Two to three breaths here in your triangle pose. Gaze rolling skyward if that feels comfortable. Unwinding that top arm, stretching it skyward, looking down towards your front big toe. We're lifting up and out. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, windmilling down to lunge, back heel, lifting skyward. And feel free to lower the back knee, heel toe that front foot out, stepping back to downward facing dog, child's pose, tabletop, another resting posture. An inhale and an exhale breath, just pausing here. From here, second side, left foot steps forward between the hands. You could be heel telling the foot around. Feel free to lower the knees first. Plant the back foot to set up 
windmilling the arms up for warrior two or pausing here for just a brief check-in moment. Front knee over front ankle. Our back foot is parallel or even slightly turned in. Arms stretching long, shoulders stacked over hips. Our front knee over front ankle is a, really a sense of stretching that knee into the back space here. Gaze over your front middle finger for two breaths here. Lengthening that front leg momentary. Front hand reaches skyward. Back hand reaches toward the earth behind you. Elbows bend and the hands might connect and bind here in the back, they might not. Pressing the elbows toward the back space. Taking a breath here and cow face, pose arms. And then soften that we're unwinding the arms coming back to our warrior two, bending into front knee. Adding some breath, inhale, hands stretch skyward and toward the earth. Exhale, the elbows bend, maybe connect with the hands at back. Inhale, press the elbows gently open. Exhale, soften and unwind the arms back to warrior two arms. Two more this way. Inhale, the hands stretch earth and sky. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, press the elbows to the back space. Exhale, soften and unwind. One more round. Inhale, hands stretch. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften and unwind. Pause here, lengthening front leg, tipping into triangle pose. Pause for a breath or two here in triangle. Then top arm releases down toward the earth. Inhale, breath, we stretch that top arm forward and up to the sky. Exhale, back and down toward the earth. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. One more here. Inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. This time the hand stretches forward up and pauses at the top. Opportunity to bend your top elbow, reach the back of the hand toward the low back and maybe even sneak the fingers around to the front of the thigh. Breathe here in your triangle pose, perhaps rolling the gaze skyward for another breath or two. Unwinding that top arm, looking down toward your front big toe, we're lifting out of this triangle. Inhale, breath. Exhale, windmilling down to lunge. Back heel rotates skyward. Grounding hands, maybe heel toeing front foot out to step back. Downward facing dog. Tabletop. Child's pose. Inhale and exhale breath here. And flowing through that sequence with a little more breath, fluidity. Right foot steps forward between the hands, planting the back foot. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, hand reaches sky and toward the earth. Exhale, the elbows bend toward cow face, toes arms. Inhale, the elbows stretch into the back space. Exhale, soften, unwind the arms and lengthen into triangle pose. Let the hand reach down toward the earth. Inhale the hands forward and up. Exhale back and down and let that lead you into your lunge pose. Walking yourself back to downward facing dog. Second side, left leg steps forward between the hands, planting the foot. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale and settle. Inhale, hands stretch sky into the earth. Exhale, bend the elbows, cow face, pose arms. 
breaths. Inhale, open the elbows, stretch through the heart space. Exhale, soften, unwind, lengthen into triangle pose. Top hand reaches towards the earth. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Let that carry you into your lunge pose. And back to downward facing dog. An inhale and an exhale breath here. And then an ease back to your child's pose, your tabletop, another resting posture for just a few breaths here. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Perhaps coming back to our full, even breath we began practice with. Little longer inhale, little longer exhale. When you're ready, an invitation to shift forward into plank position, your plank, knees or feet. Inhale breath, you might bend the elbows, maybe all the way to 90 degrees. Exhale, press back to the top of a plank push up. Just two more that way. Inhale, bend the elbows toward 90. They don't have to go there today. Exhale and press. They don't have to go there any day, really. Bending the elbows a little bit is, works the same muscle groups, the same way as bending the elbows a lot. So a little or a lot, you're doing good. Inhale, bend the elbows, and we're going to let ourselves come all the way down to the belly. Stretch the arms behind you. Opportunity to interlace the fingers at the low back. And if you like, we're floating hearts and legs away from the earth. Locust pose. Three or four breaths here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Maybe three more this way. Sternum, stretching forward and up. Thighs, floating away from earth. We're thinking about floating here. One more inhale and exhale and release to earth, release the hands underneath the shoulders. Big push back to child's pose. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, breath. There's one more that way here, shifting the weight forward. Chaturanga, plank push up. Hold here in this plank or option to add a bend and a stretch. Inhale, bend the elbows toward 90. Exhale, press back up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. One more here if you like. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. And it's a float all the way to the belly, hands stretched by the sides and maybe interlace at the low back. One more locust pose if you like. Floating heart, space, legs away from the earth. Knuckles stretch toward the space behind you. Three or four breaths here. Long inhales, long exhales. When you're ready, releasing down, releasing hands from low back. Grounding hands into the shoulders. That big push back to child's pose. One or two breaths here. ready any way you like making your way to your back for a full body stretch hands and feet lengthen to opposite walls we're hugging knees to chest knees can be close together or wide maybe a little rock from side to side here
and then grounding the feet equally down to the earth, setting up for bridge pose. Arms ground down by the sides. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Inhale, breath. And exhale, press the hips skyward into bridge pose. Weight grounding in the feet, backs of the shoulders. Option to interlace the hands underneath the body. You roll the shoulder blades underneath you a little bit more. Take three or four deep breaths in this bridge pose. Just noticing any sensations of opening through the hip, the front of the heart. Noticing the flow of breath. And then when you're ready, releasing the hands if they are interlaced underneath you, rolling down and hugging knees to chest one more time. Maybe a rock from side to side. So option to take shoelace pose. So we'll start by dropping the feet to the earth. Take the right leg. Cross the right leg as far over the left as we can. Then draw the legs into the body. Reaching opposite hand to opposite ankle. So if this isn't feeling comfortable for knees, hips, ankles today, you're welcome to take figure four instead. So crossing right ankle over left thigh and drawing the left leg in toward the body. So taking a few breaths in shoelace pose or figure four, allowing the head and neck to stay grounded and relax as is possible. Moving out of that stretch when you're ready. We're uncrossing the legs and switching sides. Left leg crosses over right as tight as is possible. Drawing the legs into the body. You might take opposite hand to opposite ankle. Breathe in shoelace pose. And again, option to take figure four stretch. Same stretch, same muscles, same benefits. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Releasing out of that stretch, unwinding the legs. And it's a full body stretch. Hands and feet opening to opposite walls, opposite ends of your space. One more hug of the knees into the chest. Setting up for a final twist here. Dropping feet to earth, maybe pretty wide space between the feet. Arms stretch to a cactus shape. We'll drop the knees to the right as our gaze rolls left. Opportunity to choose any other spinal twist that you prefer here. Maybe one more breath here.
when you're ready, knees center. Second side. Knees drop left. Gaze turns right. We settle in for a few breaths here. Maybe one more breath here. And then gently drawing the knees center. One more hug of knees into chest. And a big full body stretch. Hands and feet length into opposite walls. One final stretch here. And settling into our final relaxation pose. So if you like lying on the back, stretching the arms by the sides, palms rolling skyward. Some space between the arms and the body. Some space between the legs. settling in for just a few final conscious breaths. Sensing in to that longer inhale breath. Longer exhale breath. like to join me, I'll offer a brief yoga nidra guided relaxation. Begin by bringing some kind attention to the feet, ankles, lower legs all the way up to the hip. Guiding kind awareness. The whole right and left leg from hips to toes. Just noticing what's here in the body as is possible. in any given moment. You might notice thoughts arise, and carry you away. This is entirely normal and expected. When you notice this has happened, gently guide your awareness back to the body. In this case, the legs from hips to toes. And moving awareness in the body to the torso from hips to shoulders, bringing some kind attention here, front of the torso, the back making contact on the earth, the sides of the waist and rib cage, the pelvis. Noticing what's here in the body 
as you bring your awareness to the whole torso. And moving awareness into the upper body, the arms, from shoulders to fingers, the right arm, the left, both arms held in your kind awareness. Then attention to the neck and head, face. Noticing what's here in this part of the body. And sending some kind, attentive awareness here. And sensing into any softening you might experience. Then as is possible, bringing that kind awareness to the whole body, the whole body bathed in your kind attention. Noticing what's here. And perhaps sensing into any softening that might be occurring. You can stay here in this space of kind attention or allow the mind to let go. And to soften into a final release. A few moments of quiet and stillness to nurture ease, softness, and well being. Be silent for just a few more minutes. And when you hear my voice again, we'll close our formal practice today.
if you're ready to move out of your practice, I'll invite you to bring some gentle movement into the body. Perhaps blinking the eyes gently open and closed. Drawing in some deeper breaths. And when you feel ready, making your way to one side, a great deal of gentleness and ease for the body, the head, neck, hips. Take a few breaths here. And when you're ready, gently making your way to a tall, comfortable seat to close our practice today. Feeling some length in the spine, softness in the shoulders. May ease and softness follow you for the rest of the evening. Thank you so much for joining me today in Slow Flow. It's great to have you.